Hello and welcome to SG Speechless. Today's video is going to be another pickaxe combo video. Today's pickaxe will be Leo's Katana. Let's get into this video. This video is going to be another pickaxe combo video. Today's pickaxe will be Leo's Katana. And this video was suggested by Astro underscore bot 770. Thank you very much for the video suggestion and they said can you do leo's katana combos of course i can leo's katana are part of the tmnt set in shoes and chapter 5 season 1 and leo katanas can be purchased with the leonardo skin for 1600 v bucks or with the tmnt bundle for 3400 as i'd make 10 combos like usual let's get into the first combo and the first skin for the first combo is the lara croft skin Part of the Lara Croft set in Shoes and Chapter 2 Season 6. And it was the first ever Gaming Legends series skin we got. And obviously it was tied to the Battle Pass, which kind of sucks for players who didn't play in that season or didn't buy the Battle Pass. But either way, the edit style I'm using is the standard, which is Lara Croft, mainly for the actual brown. It's on the actual Leo Katana. has a bit of silver, black and brown as well. The background for this combo is a gold token. Part of the John Wick set in Shoes and Chapter 1 Season 9. And you've got this background to get challenges done in the John Wick Bounty LTM. Definitely my favourite background to use with the Lara Croft skin. Pickaxe is the Leo's Katana, as I mentioned, on the actual pickaxe. You have a little bit of silver, black on the blade, and on the handle it's a bit of brown. Glider for all combos is Crossfire, which is part of the Wild Western Wilds set in Shoes Chapter 1, Season 6 is Battle Pass and it's Calamity's Glider from that season. I'm using this glider solely for the brown and black design. But if you don't have this, you can use any other glider that's brown, black, or silver themed would work nicely. Contra, I wasn't too sure, so I thought I'd just use the Splunker Special part of the Lara Croft set in Shoes Chapter 2 Season 6. I just really like this one a lot, to be fair. But if you don't have this, just use any other Contra that's black, brown, or silver themed. There's not really many brown ones, so I say black or silver themed would work nicely, or just any Contra you like in general. The first weapon wrap is this one right here, which is a brown themed weapon wrap, which is Rogue Archaeology. Part of the Indiana Jones set in Shoes and Chapter 3, Season 3's Battle Pass. He was a secret skin from that season. Let's move on to combo number 2. Now, I thought I would use the John Wick skin, but you can also use the Reaper if you don't want to use John Wick. But the John Wick style I'm using is the Barry Black for the fully blacked out design. And John Wick is a part of the John Wick set in Shoes and Chapter 1, Season 9. The back bling is Deadpool's Katana. Or, sorry, Deadpool's Katana's. Part of the Deadpool set in Shoes and Chapter 2 Season 2's Bat Pass. Deadpool is a secret skin from that season. I may use it for black and silver design. And hopefully when Deadpool 3 comes out, we will get a item shop version of Deadpool. So if you've got people who didn't play in Chapter 2 Season 2 or didn't buy the Battle Pass, you weren't able to obtain Deadpool. So it'd be cool to see if they do bring a Deadpool skin in the item shop. Hopefully when Deadpool 3 releases. The pickaxe is obviously Leo's Katana. Works very nicely with the John Wick skin. And then the actual weapon wrap is this one right here. Which is a fully blacked out weapon wrap, which is Boogeyman. Part of the John Wick set in Shoes and Chapter 1, Season 9. You've got this weapon wrap for doing challenges and the John Wick Bounty LTM. If you don't have this, use any other black themed weapon wrap you have. would work nicely. Or you could also use the Assassin, which is the John Wick item wrap. That's a item wrap. <laughs> John Wick's weapon wrap that's in the item shop. And you can use it for the black and the silver. Let's move on to combo number 3. Now, I thought I'd use Calamity from the Chapter 1, Season 6 Battle Pass. Part of the Western Wild set. And the actual stage I'm using is stage 5. And the clothing colour is black. Basically, the clothing colour changes the way the smoke looks, as you can see right here. So I decided to use black. You can also use whichever one you want. White or black work nicely, but I start with black. Back bling for this combo is the Assassin Pack, which is part of the John Wick set. In Shoes Chapter 1, Season 9. And this is one of John Wick's back blings. He has this one. He also has a Wick's Katana. The actual Calamity skin works very nicely. She has, a bit, she has black and also a bit of brown as well. And obviously the pickaxe is the Leo's Katana. Works very nicely with this skin. The weapon wrap for this combo is this one right here. Which is a never fully blacked out weapon wrap. Which is Stealth Black. Part of the Air Royale set. In Shoes and Chapter 1, Season 8. And it's an item shop weapon wrap. Pretty sure it's either 300 or 400 V-Wraps. It's a pretty good steal in my opinion. If you want a fully blacked out weapon wrap. Let's move on to the next combo. Which is combo number 4 now. And I thought I'd use Indiana Jones. Which was a secret skin from Chapter 3, Season 3's Battle Pass. Part of the Indiana Jones set. The editor yeah, so I'm using is the Temple Explorer. You can also just use a standard Indiana Jones. Would work nicely. The back bling is a Survivor's Pack, which is a Gaming Legend series back bling. Part of the Lara Croft set. In Shoes and Chapter 2, Season 6 is Battle Pass. For this, you can either use a Survivor Pack style or you can use the Lara's backpack. Either one would work nicely, but I decided to stick with the standard style. The pickaxe obviously is 
the Leo's Catan works very nicely with the skin mainly for the brown but I do really like the Temple Explorer edit style of Indiana Jones pretty cool skin kind of obviously sucks for people who want the skin if they didn't play in that season it was tied to that battle pass but either way we move on to the next combo or the, this combo's worth wrap I should say which is this one right here which is a black and brown themed breath wrap, which is cool sign Falcon, part of the air royale set in Shoes Chapter 1, Season 8. I'm pretty sure this is item shop. I can't ever remember because there was an air royale game, which is basically when you like went around in like planes. So it was like you could even play it, I think it was like duos, or you could play it solo. But basically, fly around, fly, basically, it was air royale, you went around in planes, and you basically could get basically air royale or victory royale. But it's a pretty cool game mode, to be fair. I can't ever remember which ones were tied to that game mode's challenges and which were breath wrap. Of which were item shop for the web wrap, I'm not exactly sure, but either way, if you have this, works nicely for the black and the brown. Let's move on to the next combo, which is combo number five. I decided to use the, the Michonne skin, which is part of the Survivor in Arms set in Shoes Chapter 2, Season 5. I'm using the standard Michonne edit style, which is just Michonne. You can also use Rick Grimes, or you can also use Daryl Dixon, any of the Walking Dead skins, or skins in the Survivor in Arms set would work nicely. Back bling is the wolf pack, part of the full moon set. Introducing chapter one, season six, men using it for the black design. Pickaxe works very nicely for the skin, it's got this skin has a bit of black and it's a little bit brown as well. Also, the wolf pack really complements it with the black on the actual sword itself. Let's move on to wrap wrap for this combo now, which is this one right here, which is a tie dye abyss. Introducing chapter three, season four. And it's a tie dye skin's wrap wrap. And the way to make it fully black is pretty simple. You go to the lobby. Click on your banner and go up to colour and you just change it to black and it'll give it a fully blacked out design as you see right here. Let's move on to the next combo now, which is combo number six. I thought I'd use Nathan Drake, which is part of the Uncharted set in Susan Chapter 3, Season 1. The style I'm using is the Nathan Drake Uncharted 4, A Thief's End style. But you can just use the Nathan Drake, basically Tom Holland style from the movie. But I decided to use the Uncharted 4, A Thief's End style. I can't say really ever use this style, but it works very nicely for the combo I'm going with. The back thing I'm using is the Boomstick which is part of the Nobi Cabin Nightmare set in Shooting Chapter 3, Season 4. And this is Ash Williams' back bling. Works very nicely for the black and the brown. Pickaxe works very nicely with the skin. Obviously, black and the brown goes nicely with, obviously, the combo. I'm going to brown up his trousers and, obviously, the black on the actual back bling itself. I really do like the actual Nathan Drake skin a lot. It's pretty cool. It did give a, um, a game style. Obviously, had the movie and the video game style for Uncharted 4, which is cool. Let's move on to the weapon wrap now. Which is this one right here. I'm using this for the black, the brown, and a little bit of blue as well. It's a spinal vinyl. Part of the Cali Cool set. In Shooting Chapter 3, Season 4's Battle Pass. Let's move on to the next combo now. Which is combo number 7. And it's a skin from Chapter 5. I thought I'd go for a combo with just from items uh, from Chapter 5. For like the uh, skin, back and pickaxe. The skin is Vengeance Jonesy. Sorry, Vengeance Jones from the Chapter 5, Season 1 Battle Pass. Part of the Jonesy's Revenge set. The edit style I'm using is the Underground Jones, the Shades are on, you can also turn them off if you prefer not to use the Shades. The back bling is the TMNT Pizza, part of the TMNT set, in Susan Chapter 5, Season 1. If you get this when the actual TMNT, the TMNT Cowbunga event was around, I can't remember if this was actually a challenge reward or it's in the actual event pass. But either way, if you own it, it works very nicely, it goes nicely with the black and also like the brown of the box. Pickaxe is the Leo's Katana, and it works very nicely with the Underground Jones style. You can also just use the standard Jonesy style, or Jones style, if you don't want to use, obviously, the Underground one. The wrap wrap I'm using is, um, is Vengeance Jonesy's Pickaxe, which is, or Vengeance Jones Pickaxe, on um, Pickaxe, <laughs> weapon wrap, which is Legends Retribution, part of the Jones, Jones Re Re Revenge set, in Chapter 5, Season 1. Use it mainly for the black and like, the white, but it goes for, mainly for the black, but it just goes nice with the skin. I couldn't really find a good wrap to go with the actual Underground Jones skin of the Underground Jones style of Vengeance Jones. Let's move on to the next combo now, which is combo number eight. Pretty OG Battle Pass skin, which is the Battle Hawk, part of the Advanced Forces set. Introduced in Chapter 1, Season 4's Battle Pass. I personally can't say I really have ever used this skin much. Maybe once or twice when it came out, Chapter 1, Season 4. But works very nice for this color scheme, the black and the brown. Back bling is the Arroyo pack. Part of the custom set in Shooting Chapter 2, Season 2's Battle Pass. The style I'm using is default for the brown. Pickaxe works very nicely with this skin. So obviously the skin has a little bit of black and brown, like I mentioned. Let's move on to the weapon wrap now, which is this one right here. Which is Mayhem, which is a gaming legend series weapon wrap. 
apart from Mayhem set in Shooter Chapter 1 of Season X. And this is based in Psychobalance, where I have all the Boardlands weapon wrap. Let's move on to combo number 9. Now, I thought I'd use a Star Wars skin, and so I'd use Obi-Wan Kenobi, which is part of the Obi-Wan Kenobi set in Shooter Chapter 3 Season 2. You can also use Han Solo and use a Duster Star, would work nicely. Let's have to go with the Obi-Wan. Back bling is the Alan's Messenger Bag, part of the Waken Nightmare set in Shooting Chapter 4 Season 4. And it's Alan Wake's back bling, works very nicely for the brown theme. The pickaxe you see here goes very nicely for the brown of the actual um, of the actual jacket or the um, robe that Obi-Wan Kenobi is wearing. The weapon wrap for this combo is this one right here. I wasn't sure what to use, which is Shield Weaver, part of the Horizon Zero Dawn set in Shooting Chapter 2 Season 6, an animated and reactive web wrap using it for the black and a little bit of brown on it as well let's move on to the final leo leo's katana pickaxe combos i decided to use the warfare which is part of the scratch company set in shooting chapter 5 season 1 the newest like customizable skin we've had recently and this actual design i decided to use a banner color white camo color is brown the shirt color is black accent color is black so basically it is the actual color scheme is white brown black and black and the actual design of it i'm using tactical vest on tattoos for me is abstract skulls but you can use no tattoos or any tattoos and the pants camo is urban camo but you can also switch up the camo a lot so i'd go for a brown and black design the back bling is sheriff stuffle put the survivor in arms set in shooting chapter 2 season 8 and this is rick grimes's back bling using it for the black theme pickaxe works very nicely so i designed it around the actual brown and black theme of the actual pickaxe as you can see here works very cleanly and then the final weapon wrap is this one right here which is another black theme weapon wrap which is shadow seal part of the lone shadow set in shooting chapter 2 season 2's back pads i'm pretty sure and that's all the leo katana's pickaxe combo leo's katana pickaxe combos done thank you once again astro underscore bot 770 for the video suggestion i really did enjoy getting combos done for this pickaxe it's pretty clean works very nice with a lot of different pickaxe and you can also use it as a back bling as well and obviously have it as back bling and pickaxe obviously when you don't have it equipped it you'll sheath it in obviously the back bling but i decided not to do use that but you can also use that if you want to and if you ever do have any other video suggestions that see could be for example skin back bling pickaxe glider slash umbrella contra or weapon or anything other thought i related always feel free to let me know in the comments down below i'm just currently waiting for the ascendant midas skin to come out on tuesday and still work my way through getting the battle pass skins i unlocked medusa the other day let me just slowly work to get the second hand installed for her so i can make combos for her but anyway that's pretty decent